Welcome to ProjaCAD Basics for Beginners. This is Precision Drawing Tools. To find links to any downloadable resources available for this video, make sure to check the description box below. Entity Snaps, or eSnaps for short, are one of the most important tools in ProjaCAD for drawing accurately. E-snaps acquire various geometric points on an entity, allowing you to snap to that point while you are in a command. For example, a line has two endpoints and a midpoint. Using an e-snap allows me to accurately start a new line from the endpoint of an existing one. E-snaps can be used in two ways. You can access one at a time, typically via the right-click menu, or you can set certain e-snaps to be enabled all of the time. These are called running e-snaps. Running e-snaps are either on or off and appear in the status bar as an icon that looks like a square with a pick box on the corner. If it's blue, it's enabled. You can also use the F3 function key to toggle this feature. To access the list of e-snaps and to select those that you want on, right-click on the e-snap status bar icon and select e-snap settings at the bottom. The Drawing Settings dialog will appear where you can select your set of favorites. Enabling an e-snap on an as-needed basis is known as an override and will only be available to you on your upcoming selection. The easiest way to access these one-time overrides is by holding the Shift key down, then right-clicking. You'll be shown a pop-up menu where you can select the e-snap you need for your current task. You don't have to be in a command when you do this. ProjaCAD will remember your override for use on your next selection. The next precision drawing tool you'll want to utilize is called Entity Snap Tracking. It too is a toggle and is in the status bar just to the right of the eSnap icon. It can also be turned on or off with the F11 function key. Tracking is used in conjunction with eSnaps and allows you to locate new points in relation to one or two existing points. It's easier to understand when you see it in action. We'll first see it being used with a single reference point. I'll quickly draw a rectangle to get started. My task is to draw a side view of the rectangle. Of course, I'll need to match the top and bottom planes. While there are a number of ways to do this in ProjectCAD, entity snap tracking is probably the easiest. Making sure in advance that e-snaps and tracking are enabled, and knowing that endpoint is one of my running e-snaps, I'll launch the rectangle command. Hover over the top right corner until the endpoint snap appears. There's nothing to click yet. Pull the cursor out to the right in approximately the same plane as the top of the rectangle. You'll see a small green marker on the corner and a dotted line in that plane will appear. I'll click to start my rectangle. For the opposite corner, I'll do the same with the bottom right corner. Hover to acquire, move over, staying close enough to the plane to make the dotted line appear, and select your second point while the line is visible. You can see just how easy this task is by using Entity Snap Tracking. Let's see how it helps us by using two reference points. Our next task is to draw a circle exactly in the center of the original rectangle. I'll start the circle command and hover over the midpoint of any edge. I'll use the left edge, the midpoint e-snap will appear, and a green marker will be placed there. Move the mouse to an adjacent edge and do the same thing. You now have two points referenced. Move your mouse into the center of the rectangle and when both dotted reference lines are visible, you're in the center. Click to select the center of the circle and pull away to a, select a radius point. Again, it's a fast, accurate, and easy method to acquire reference points. The last two drawing precision tools we're going to discuss are snap and grid. They are also toggles on the status bar. They are on the far left side and appear as an array of dots and a very small grid of intersecting lines. They too have function key toggles. F9 is for snap and F7 is for grid. First up is grid. Mine is turned on. It displays as a light gray grid in model space. It looks a bit like graph paper. Without snap enable, it's really not useful and many users, including myself, turn it off. However, if your drawing is schematic in nature, such as a wiring diagram, flowchart, or PNID, snap and grid can become extremely useful. 
you can set up Snap and Grid into a configuration that works for your task. Access the Drafting Settings dialog by right-clicking on the Snap icon in the status bar and selecting Settings at the bottom. In the Snap and Grid tab, you'll see all of the settings for each. There are way too many settings to discuss in a beginner's class. There is a checkbox to enable Snap, so I'll check it here. Notice the spacing for both Snap and Grid. By default, they're set the same, but you can make them different if you like. I'll change both sets to one inch for our example. Click OK to save your choices. With both Snap and Grid on, ProjectCAD will snap to the grid points at the defined interval. I'll demonstrate this with a couple of rectangles connected by a line. As I start the rectangle command and move the mouse into the editor, you can see the cursor appear not to move smoothly, and it's snapping to our one inch increment along the way. Drawing this way, I can quickly create perfect squares without the need for distances or coordinates. Before I draw the line, I'll even turn off e-snaps as this method really doesn't need them. I'll start the line command and let my snap grid acquire the midpoint of the first square, and for the second point, it will perfectly place it at the midpoint of the other square. No need for e-snaps. But again, you probably only want to use snap and grid with certain types of schematics and diagrams. You can find out more information, download their 30-day free trial, or purchase your own ProjectCAD license at www.projectcad.com.